General Settings of Sequence in SalesMate CRM Hello fellas! We're living in the era where automation rules the market. Noting this important element, SalesMate has brought up the Sequence feature to help you define a series of touch points to connect with your contact or leads over a specific period of time to keep them engaged and maintain a strong communication. Before moving to sequencing, let us first understand the basic settings of Sequence. As you click on the profile icon, followed by Setup and Sequence under Sales Automation, you will find all the general settings of Sequence. If you want that the Sequence should only work on business days, then keep the Execute on Weekdays Only option on. Thus, no emails or calls will be scheduled during the weekend. We understand that businesses do not want to disturb the customers during weekends. If you enable threading for a particular contact, then that contact will receive all sequence emails that are a part of the thread and not as individual conversation. It's most helpful when all the conversation with the client is at one place. If the email threading option is on, then, the system will auto-pick the subject of the first email in the sequence, which was sent to the contact, and after which all following emails will follow the same subject line irrespective of the subjects you have defined for each mail under different stages. Now, when you select any specific delivery time zone, all the scheduled emails will be sent on specific time as per the selected time zone. Also, when you select Use Contacts Time Zone, then SalesMate will queue the email as per the time zone of the contact. This seems to be a more interesting setting to land in your client's inbox as per their time zone, right? To provide flexibility and consent for your target audience, you can add an unsubscribe link to your email communications using templates that are sent using sequences or from the Contact, Activity, Deal page, or Gmail Chrome extensions and mobile applications. If you keep this option on, then an auto unsubscribe link will be added to the bottom of the email in case of a no unsubscribe link found in your template. This option allows the recipients to opt out of receiving such emails from your account. When the contact reaches the last step of the sequence without any reply, then SalesMate will wait until the number of days that you select here before exiting him with failed or success status. Here days means after exact number of days, the contact will get removed from the sequence, along with the status, whereas schedule days means it will wait for the selected weekdays. With access, you can select security policy for sequences. You can choose your own setting if they should be visible to other team members or not. Here, the shared setting, which is public read or write, means that the sequences will be visible and can be used by everyone in the organization. Private sequences will only be accessible to the owner, that is, the one who creates the sequence. And the public read-only option will allow each user in the organization to see the sequence and its overall performance. But it's only the owner who can enroll contacts. Now, the next one in the general settings is throttling. It limits the number of emails that go out from SalesMate CRM every day. It makes sure that it does not cross email providers' mailing limits per day. It can be set at a global level, which means you can set the throttle limit across all sequences on the number of emails that can be sent out from the system. Woo! This seems an amazing setting in SalesMate CRM, doesn't it? Now, let's quickly move to the safety settings. You can select how many times can a contact be added to this sequence, once, more than once, or any number of times. Select yes or no option for the contact whether you need it in multiple sequences or not. At times, when your clients are out on vacation or personal leave, SalesMate gives you the advantage to pause the sequences and run when your clients are back in business. You can simply turn on or off the out-of-office email from the setting here. Make sure you select the number of days to auto-resume out-of-office email. Then comes the exit criteria setting. If you have a set of emails queued in SalesMate and would like to stop the consecutive email if the receiver of the email either replies to one of the emails in the sequence or forwards the same email to someone and you get a reply for the forwarded email, you can keep the first option and exit criteria on. In this exit criteria, the sequence will stop if you or contact initiate any email communication which might or might not be part of the current sequence which means if any kind of communication is initiated, further emails of the sequence will not be sent. That particular contact will be marked as finished on reply. The stops on text exit criteria will stop if you or the contact initiate any text communication which might or might not be part of the sequence. And the last exit criteria is based on the closer of the activity. 
For this, you need to select the activity outcome for which the sequence should be stopped from the activity outcome dropdown given here. You can either select all activity outcomes, which means as in when the activity is closed with any given outcomes, then the sequence would be stopped. Or you can select your choice of activity outcomes to stop the sequence. Pretty simple, yeah? Assigning tags in sequence is a very useful feature. It allows you to assign tags based on the event taking place. This will be helpful for you in the future while filtering the contacts based on different criteria. You can assign different tags based on the following criteria. Contact is added to this sequence. An email bounces. A contact unsubscribes. The first email text is delivered or activity completed. The contact replies to a sequence email. The contact is marked as finished with no reply or the contact completes the sequence with no reply after a specified amount of time. Ooh, this is amazing, right? How about exploring all of these features at the earliest? Feel free to connect to our customer success team for any questions related to sequencing. Also, subscribe to the SalesMate YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on our new features, releases, and insightful videos.